Hey, what's up, Watch This React fam? This is your boy, Danny. We're back with another reaction for Shrinking, Episode 2, Fortress of Solitude. Last episode, we saw the therapist, Jimmy, who is trying to find new, unconventional ways to treat his patients amidst dealing with his own um, drama at home. A lot of disconnect with his daughter, um, his wife dying, coping with that. It, it's a lot for him to a point that he is kind of just telling patients how it is. Um, he had a patient by the name of Sean. Sean, who's dealing with a lot of anger and rage, loves to just beat on people who just rub him the wrong way, either by looking at him wrong, talking to him, bumping him, no matter what it was. So what did Jimmy do? Jimmy brought him to an MMA gym to kind of flush that rage out. And though it worked, it ended, the episode ended with Sean kind of reverting back to those ways to, in a, to protect Jimmy from the ex of another patient he told to just leave that guy. Leave that guy because he doesn't love you. He doesn't care for you. He just thinks you're just nothing but a trophy. So, yes, though his patients are making great strides, Jimmy is taking the brunt of it. So, yeah, let's get right into it. But before you do that, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for all your Watch This React needs. And uh, let's get started. Oh. It's creepy how you always sit alone in the dark. I cannot condemn you to live in the bowels of hell <laughs> for all eternity. I love you too much. <laughs> what? Ariel. Dracula? No? No. I have a meeting with your counselor later. What's he going to tell me about you? He might ask, how's Alice feeling after you getting beat up at her locker game? Unless That's crazy. he doesn't even know about it. He was holding an ice pack to your face. I like that guy. He is, uh, he is tender. I'm busy. It's Taco Tuesday. Ah, yes. My favorite vaguely racist weekly food holiday. <laughs> Who are you having tacos with? Psycho killer. I think it's so dope that the neighbors kind of help raise um, Jimmy's daughter. What's with the sirens? Where are you? Oh, gotta get Sean. Oh, I'm just gonna be completely honest with you. You've been very supportive lately, and so I decided I was gonna bring you some donuts. And I got down here to the donut shop, and apparently this place has been robbed. There's shattered glass and blood everywhere. Could be jelly. Probably jelly. Anyways, looks like today's not donut day for us, Paul, but... morning fuck you hey do you know any lawyers this dude is definitely coming after you damn he's pressing charges after he was the one that started it oh his best friend oh my god look 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 what do i do answer it jimmy hello hi brian i wonder yeah, what happened paul cannot know about God, you look like ass. Yeah, I know. Hey, Sean, <laughs> Sean was fine, but my patient's husband got fucked up. What? What happened to you? I fell, man. How? How? I got these new shoes here, mm -hmm. and they, they got no grip. I should have got ones with grip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> shoes. They'll, they'll, they'll pick you up. Oh, man. So, onto your eye because of your non grippy shoes. Yeah. Right on it. Whoa. Uh -huh. I did this like a cartoon, That's Paul. crazy. Well, no. oh. Oh. <laughs> I know you do this to shame me because I'm a somewhat private person, but it just strengthens my resolve. Somewhat private. Never met your daughter. Yeah, what is she like? She lives in Connecticut. Wow. Okay. It's like she's in the room. Look, <laughs> I'm there for my patients, just not for my very needy colleagues. Oh, no, shit. He means you. you. My home is my fortress of solitude. There we go. Fortress of solitude should be the name of your memoir. We always hear the name. Very spicy. Cle clearly, it's memoir. That memoir. will make a lot of people. Memoir. This is my pee, Paul, and this is my memoir. <laughs> So the place is like hopping like I've never seen it. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe I'm just going to skate on through. But guess who just stops everything and asks me how my day is going? I bet I know, Dan. The barista. Yeah, the fucking barista. Was he so mad about this barista? Why don't you just make my fucking coffee? 
coffee. Absolutely. Or you could just answer his question. Thoughts? I have a couple. Fuck and that. Why should they make small talk with this guy? Yeah, I know. Aren't you getting tired of being lonely? Because I'll tell you something. I'm fucking lonely, Dan. Damn. It's getting real. I really am quite lonely. It sucks. Damn. He was in line. Yeah. I feel like some coffee, Dan. I feel like some coffee. That's hey cool. There. How may I help you? Oh, Stan. Your name's Dan. Your name's Ryan. That's pretty fun, huh? I will fucking kill you. <laughs> uh, just a couple of Americanos, please. No problem. How's your day going? Uh, my day was going okay, but now it's bad. Tell me about it. We ran out of oat milk. Everyone here is losing their shit. Fuck oat milk. Yes. Thank you. I'll get those drinks going. No, it's, it's cool. He's, he's making a friend. I hated that. I don't believe you. Administration. Who's this? Oh, okay. Oh. Guidance counselor. How's with the patient? Well, we started without you. I didn't know if Liz was filling in permanently. Or... No, no, just the two times. Three times. Three, three times? Okay. I should go. Should I go? Her English teacher, Mr. Alto, tells me she isn't very social anymore. Mr. Alto sounds like a narc. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> her husband. Oh. Oh, my gosh. I think that's he's great. great. I just met him. <laughs> he's attractive. Probably because he's so handsome. Yeah, that's it. It was so humiliating. Like, I get it. I get it. Liz has been absolutely amazing with Alice. At the same time, Alice is my fucking kid. Hey, anybody that helps us raise our kids with love and respect, we should be grateful. Facts. That's true, but also sometimes you gotta tell this white lady she needs to back up a little bit, you know? I should point out, I am also, uh, white. You are so white. Okay, so are you, Paul. No, I'm not. I'm a silver fox. That's true. Thank you. What? Thank you. I'm the mama. You're welcome, you my are friend. The Go mama. get her. Is there any way I'll actually say that to her face? Yep. My client has a fractured cheekbone and is suffering from severe emotional distress. I had 30 eyewitnesses who saw you walk straight up to a well-respected therapist and viciously attack him in an unprovoked assault. What my client did was stop his therapist from being killed. There's no, there's no crime here due to your client's violent attack. He is now suffering from headaches. My head hurts and I can't focus and I'm, I'm pretty close to shitting my pants. <laughs> did, did the meeting start yet? Yeah, yeah, but this is it. Okay, you're doing great. <laughs> oh man. Well, you fucking killed that shit, man. How often do you do that? Never. I'm an estate attorney. That was the biggest rush of my life. Oh wow. I'm Atticus Finch. I am Juliana Margulies. I am L. Wood. But Brian, truly incredible. What happened between them? We're playing pickleball tonight. You're coming. 8 p.m., same place, be there. I can't. Aren't y'all like best friends or something? What'd you do? I don't know. I guess from the death of his wife, like, he just felt like there was no... What the fuck is pickleball? Like, That's a strong sport in America. Don't get left behind. Reason to live, I guess, or reason to do the things he usually does? They just all act so immature. Well, they are immature. They're teenagers. They haven't been through what you've been through. Well, then they're lucky. For now... I just missed her. And no one gets it. I know someone who does. He's tall and he calls me too much. I've decided therapy sucks. This isn't therapy. These are just chats that your dad should never know about. Why not? Because he'll make a big fucking deal out of it. And you don't want to hug me or something. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? Mm. One dinner. Go get some sandwiches from that, that Nashville chicken place. And then afterwards, you can go by the bridge and judge some stupid teenagers. Summer just wants to go because we'd be celebrities. Why? Dude, the soccer game. Oh, yeah, he didn't know about that. This again? You looked at the clock, and so now you have to hold your breath until the minute changes. Okay. It's OCD. My office, it's a completely safe space. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Hello. You asked me to keep your friend out of jail, which I do, miraculously, by the way. You just walk away? How fucking dare you? I didn't mean to swear. I'm paying for this session. Not you, I'm not paying you, but you, definitely. I'll get your Venmo, best friend, so that you can sit in the dark with a whiskey and a Santa mug. That's so sad, man. That is so sad. 
I think you're very rude. And yeah, just hang out with your friend, bro. And so do you. Good day. <laughs> Breathe, Wally. You're gonna die. We're all gonna die. <laughs> telling me how awesome you've been with Alice. I'm happy to help. She's such a great kid. <laughs> She's just the best. Do you know I'm a godmom? I didn't. Yeah, it's cool. Mm -hmm. I love that's, I that's it. That's dope. So. That's cool. So it's like a whole village is raising you know, Alice. To really start showing up for her again. Mm -hmm. Which is totally great, right? Oh, for sure. That's what we all want, right? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The more you're there, the less Jimmy can be. Where's the new basketball you got them? It's, it's over in the driveway. Show me the basketball. Okay, don't clap at me. I don't like to stop. Don't, don't clap at me. I'm too grown for that, Liz. I'm gonna lose my sh I'm gonna lose my shit. Stop. I'm just here trying to tumble my goddamn rocks. Who the fuck are you? I'm trying to be a fucking friend. I thought you were the godmother. Where have you been? I, I have my own stuff to deal with. I once overheard you and Tia talking in the driveway about me, and you said, oh, she's such a mom. You are a mom. You didn't mean it as a compliment. You know who the most important person in your life is right now? You. No, you shithead. <laughs> your daughter. Right, that's what I meant. Oh, wow. Well. second. Okay. Alice has a hard enough road, and she will run like hell if you're not careful. I'm speaking from experience here. I hear you. Do not jeopardize her well-being, got it? A nod is not enough. I want a promise. Okay. Jesus, man. Say the word. Promise. Promise. <laughs> Why he throw his fist up like that? Thanks, Paul. I really appreciate you. Oh, okay. You doing a little dance now? Huh. You feeling yourself, huh? <clears throat> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's up? We can't have you staying here, Sean. Come on, are you serious? We warned you. We said one more time, and you're out. It's wow, like you're that's this, so you trash. You spent the night in jail. Come on in. Hey, um, I was thinking tonight I might have dinner with my dad, if that's okay. Okay, that's, that's great. You should definitely do that. Hope you didn't go to any trouble. No. She's tight. She can't stop being a mom. It looks good. I want some tacos right now. I mean, did, you didn't even have dinner ready. It was whiskey with a Santa mug, like he said. <laughs> Your friends know you, Papa. Damn, Sean, where are you going to stay? Hey. Hey. Where are you going? Where do you think I'm going? I'm going to the club. <laughs> going to get crunk. Are those chicken sandwiches? Oh, uh, yeah, it's whatever. Did you get those for us? Do you, you want to have dinner with me? No, uh, I already told you that I have plans. They're for me and Liz. No problemo. Why, Alice? Second, like, uh... Yeah, chicken sandwiches with Alice. Go, have fun. Thanks. You sure? Oh my god, so sure. You guys could have still at eight, and then he could have played pickleball. Like, what's the big deal? Come on. You guys are both being stubborn. And that's just gonna make a bad decision, man. goes my way. I hate it when you say that. So how exactly do you play pickleball? Chicken sandwiches? Does everybody live close to each other? I can't believe he shot me down. Well, did you tell him that you were there to have dinner with him? I mean, I feel like it was pretty obvious I was there and I had dinner. Don't do that, Alice. Don't make him yeah. seem like he's the bad guy. This is cool. It's like everybody kind of has to heal, you know, kind of break out of their own shell. And Paul's drinking the water that Gabby gave that guy. Uh, 
Gabby got him. Can't speak English today. So are we ever gonna talk for real? Not tonight. Let's serve it up. Yeah, be real, what are we even doing? Fuck. He goes to me for a year. I wanna know why. He's your best friend. I have a goddamn ray of light. I am human so Yes, I know, and you wouldn't let me be fucking miserable, Brian. I needed to hit rock bottom, and you wouldn't fucking let me. You couldn't read the fucking room. I'm not trying to make you feel bad, but it's not fun to be around somebody who says everything goes my way when their wife has died. He has a point. Okay. My wife died, Brian. I've never said everything goes your way. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I... <laughs> That's my thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, they're getting there. Everybody's getting there, you know? See you in a year. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? Hey, Alice, it's okay. This is uh, Sean. He needs a place to crash. Sean, this is my daughter, Alice. There goes episode two in the books. Yeah, uh, I kind of liked that episode. It was a nice feel good one. Yeah, we had a Jimmy mending his friendship with Brian, his longtime best friend, by summoning his service as a lawyer to help Sean get out of uh, a charge that could have probably resulted in some time being served. Uh, what else? We saw Alice and Jimmy kind of having like a miscommunication. Alice is finally realizing that maybe I need to also be a better daughter. Jimmy's trying to be a better father um by just starting with dinner and then realizing that wait i do have to be also a friend i have to come back to what i used to do you know before the unfortunate death of his wife and, you know he just gotta live life pretty much so it's kind of cool seeing that I, I i'm looking forward to seeing more um more of the character brian i think he's a fun character he's going to kind of like i think rejuvenate jimmy um and bring him back to who he probably was before the death of his wife um Alice and Paul we I we're learning that they also ha they also have a relationship kind of like a therapy in a way for her. So it's it's kind of dope just seeing how it, it really does take a village, you know, to raise a kid. And um yeah, I I don't know. It was it was interesting. But yeah, uh episode 3, I'm looking forward to it and we're definitely going to react to that soon. But guys, if you did enjoy this content, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit your notification bell for all your watches react uh, needs. And uh, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.